Hi, this is uh, my motor home and uh, I'm going to do uh, a two year review and uh, likes and dislikes of uh, what I think about uh, the IH motorhome. It's uh, an IH 630RD and I hope you find this interesting. OK, we'll uh, start with the outside. Um, it's built on a Fiat. Uh, it's got a 2.3 uh, engine, uh, 130 brake horsepower. It's got side steps, usual stuff. It's got a side step and uh, it's a filler for the underslung gas tank, 25 litres. Moving around to the back. This model's got uh, rear doors, which I prefer. As you can see, there's plenty of room to get for your boot space. And you can get all your, your blocks in there, chairs, cables, and on this left hand side, the, uh, it goes all the way underneath the uh, near side bed. Uh, so you can get lots and lo lots of uh, lo long stuff in there. And on a hot summer's day, you can open the back doors and the side doors and uh, give a nice um, wind tunnel effect. Going down the near side, you've got the uh, exhaust for the boiler and you've got the electric hookup on that one and that's your toilet cassette. Now a lot of people say about this, I would say about filling up the toilet. It is a bit awkward because where it comes out you can't get the cap off there. You've got to put it in far enough to get the cap off, bring it out and in there you will see water. Some people think, oh that's full, it doesn't need topping up. Um, but to top it up, you go by this gauge here um, and this is also the place where you drain it in the, in the winter. You take that off there and the water comes out. And I'm just going to put that back, back in the clip. Yeah, so um, it does, you've got a limited access really for filling up, but I, I find with my small 5 litre container, um, it does fill up quite easily. You've just got to be a good shot, it doesn't give you a lot of room. So I'll put that back later. And you've got your water point there, that's where you fill up your fresh water. And your both fridge vents. Uh, right, let's have a look on the inside. Right, um, I don't know if anybody else has had the same effect, but the shiny silver air vents surrounds they reflect in the windscreen and the worst one it reflects into is your um, your mirror which is really annoying when you want to uh, do an overtaking maneuver and you've got the that flashing in the in your outside mirror so what I've done is uh, I've put some um, PVC um, leatherette type plastic on the top of the vents to stop it reflecting into the screen and then they're attached by double sided tape it works very well the Fiat radio I think is really good it gives a really good tone the only one thing uh, is wrong with it it um, goes off after 20 minutes so you're forever getting up and switching it back on again and then it comes to a point where it won't come on anymore it just comes up with code error 
Um, yeah, nothing you can do about that apart from putting your keys in the ignition, switching it on, switching it off, and it works perfectly fine again. Yeah, but it's really annoying every time it goes off after 20 minutes. But apart from that, it's a really good radio. The um, the worst part of this uh, um, sink unit is the one that really annoys me the most. Um, it's a left hand sink, as you can see. So if I'm study out doing the washing up, directly above is the cupboard. Now when I first got the van, uh, IH to this day still put the uh, fire extinguisher right on the end of this cupboard. That's where the two screw pieces are. Um, I've put the fire extinguisher now just there, just near the driver's seat. I find that the best, best place, out the way, not at the end of a cupboard. Uh, yeah, so um, even though the fire extinguisher was there, that was bad enough, but the cupboard is still in the way. And I don't know why AH, IH don't put a right hand sink in, left hand drainer, or just stood here, and you would not bang your head on the cupboard. Also, when the extra table comes up, your pots go on there, you wash it up there, drainer there, and the wife can dry the pots and then put them away in the cupboards. I think that would be a much better idea. IH only put uh, two 30 amp, 240 volt sockets. One is underneath that cupboard uh, there, directly above the sink. The other one is down there. Um, that one down there, it's not a lot of use for anything apart from I don't know, charging your phone. But where would you put your kettle? Uh, your kettle above the sink, not the best of places. Uh, you can, the lead just, does just reach it. But the ideal place for it is on that table there. That's where we keep it now. And what I've had to do, I've had to put my own double 13 amp sockets uh, just there. And I wired it in. Well, this is where all the wirings are. Um, your fuse box, your mains fuse, and your junction box and charges in there. So I've just wired it in there and it works a treat. Uh, also in there is a good place to put your wine cupboard. And I've also got my solar panel controller up there. When I ordered this van, I, I asked them at the factory, I said, I do not want a hickey roof light. And he said, are you sure? I said, yeah, I don't like them. Um, I don't like the light coming in from the top. I had one before. And we always kept the blind closed. Um, as you can see, I haven't got one now. So if you haven't got a hecky roof light, you know it's not going to leak. The other modification I did was to the um, trimmer controllers. Instead of the um, old-fashioned analogue twin rotary ones, I put in the new Truma iNet ready uh, digital one. It's much easier to control, control the temperature, uh, control what it's running on, and the fan speed. It's uh, it was really a uh, a good job done, I think. There. I also like the uh, television cupboard. Everything's all in there. You can put uh, your remote in the back. I've got a radio there as well and it all fits neatly into a cupboard and you can just close the door on it. It's all nice and neat. I have had uh, trouble with the upholstery. This is not IH's fault. This is uh, Regal Furnishing in um, Ilkeston. It's, it's this um, cloth. It's, it's a very wide, loose weave, they tell me. Um, and it's all come and stitched. I've had one of these cushions on the other side uh, already repaired and this one's done the same. I've, I've got to get it back. 
up to them for them to to stitch it up. <coughs> this is the toilet area. That's your um, main table. It's on one pedestal. Uh, it's um, all the fittings in this van are really good quality. It's all they're not plastic. These are metal. It's really nice. Got two cubby holes there. Uh, extractor fan and light and ceiling. And you got a tip down sink. I don't particularly like tip down sinks, but I don't think that you could do anything else in this uh, small space. Um, but you don't get that with the van. You usually just get a, a saucer there. You can get one of these from B and Q. Fit in there. Uh, yeah, you've got a cupboard, the shelving, all for all your bits and bobs. Got a shower head there. I um, we don't have a shower in the van. It's too small for that. You do get a shower curtain, but uh, I've never attempted it. The best I do is uh, wash my hair really. But uh, also. The shower is quite good for actually flushing the toilet um, because you, the main one with the Thetford one is just a swill really but uh, with the with that one it gives a good good jet it does uh, clean the toilet nicely uh, on this one we've got halo lighting it doesn't show up very well. It's probably flickering now on the on the camera, but uh, yeah, it's really really good because you can uh, you can dim it as well on the switch. Yeah, it dims down. Oh yeah, that is flashing now. Yeah, but it really works well. And uh, you may or may not know, but these lights underneath the cupboards, uh, you can dim them if you press and hold it it will dim the light and that's going down and that's about as low as it go let go and press again it brings it back up I had, I had the van nearly a year before I learnt that just going back to the sink I bet people are wondering well why have you taken your glass lid off uh, because you have to turn this spout down it's okay if you haven't got a bowl in it, you can go all the way down. But uh, we kicked the bowl in. I did cut a slot in the bowl for that to go in. But it was a job to get it to go down far enough to put the lid down. And if you don't get the lid down, as soon as you start driving down the road, that is hitting the bottom of the glass lid. So I got fed up with it one day and I thought, right, this is coming off. And quite honest with you, um, we like it without. Right, this is where I keep my beer. It goes in, and it's nicely in that bottom cupboard. And underneath there, that is where your leisure battery sits. Just in case you're ever looking for it. And it's, if you need to get it out, it is a bit of a major job. In the wardrobe, I uh, ordered, instead of a hanging space, I ordered two shelves. Um, for us, that, that works really well. Uh, they did actually still put the bar in there. These could be taken out if needs be. Uh, I've got my aerial, uh, aerial unit there, and the aerials there. Uh, the aerial system works really well. I, I don't think we've actually been stuck for a signal no matter where we've been. And I put in a, a decent fridge uh, with that ice box that can be taken out if need be to give you extra uh, space. Um, but the only trouble is I thought I'll take it out one day and you do get extra space if you could find an, another shelf to fit in it. I've tried to obtain one from uh, Dometic but I can't find one. So uh, I put the ice box back in. 
but yeah it's a really good fridge you get two drawers this is the cutlery drawer oh yeah, I actually do put a, a wooden uh, bit that goes in here uh, we don't use that so we just got the, the plastic one uh, only costs a pound works better than the wooden one and you can get most stuff in there that's really good and then below that is another drill I put some carpet in the bottom there to stop it uh, from stuff from sliding and we get most of our uh, our food in that goes in there it's really good and you get um, three gas hobs one electric and you get the grill yeah it really does toast nicely and an oven that works really well my wife made uh, a cover for the uh, uh, grill pan that stops it rattling as going down the road works well and at the bottom it's supposed to be for pots and pans but we use it for shoes going around top of the uh, rest of the cupboards above the, uh, the oven we keep uh, cups tea coffee and uh, all the glasses in a little box stops things flying about in this one we cup our plates and various bits and bobs and in the back one we keep saucepans or the cooking equipment We've got electric kettle gas kettle really works well and in this back cupboard some various bits and bobs there's no stay on this uh, door and this one we use for clothing same as that one just for clothing okay so um, in the offside bed box you've got your trauma trauma boiler and behind that underneath this uh, false floor you've got your, your water pump and if you ever want to drain your, your system down you lift uh, that yellow tab and just lift that up and it will uh, drain the system you'll have to open up your taps to let the air get in but yeah that's the way to do it just in case you're wondering where it is and that fits back Ooh, just there Right, what we have to do at night is to, well I'll, I'll show you what we do. These corner cushions, these are the biggest pain. Um, you've got to move these to the uh, front, I'll put them on the driver's seat. That's one, and I've got to get the other one. Move these cushions out of the way. Need the pillows later on. And this one, to pull out, that goes down the back. This is the same. We pull that one out. The back rest. Goes down. Yep. And I actually sleep with my head that way. Linda sleeps with her head that way. Then Dog, Chloe, she uh, sleeps in the middle. I also get rid of that way out of the way as well. So we finish up with a uh, load of cushions up in the cab area but you can walk through uh, and get to your bed and in the morning 
it prop that up and you can have a nice cup of tea uh, which fits on there now on the new ones of these do what IH do they've done away with that bit uh, what they've done is they've done that with leather leather bolster uh, which takes all that away which I think is a mistake because it's a good place to put a cup of tea but you can see what we have to do to go to bed didn't take long but what we are thinking of doing is having this upholstery all this open weaved um, stuff taken away and half leather being put in on all these and the corner cushions what we're thinking of doing <coughs> is having these altered so have it cut off there so that will go into that corner and this bit will be fastened along the back fastened to that other one so it will be three pieces so it will be one long piece along the back two cushions either side which those two cushions can go in the over camp locker uh, where we keep all the bedding um, yeah so that's what we'll, we'll probably do that this year I'm not 100% sure but I think it'll be a good idea uh, if anybody else has got any views on that um, you can leave some messages below and uh, I'll be uh, interested to hear them what I will say um, it is quite cold in the cab you get up in the morning and it is really cold uh, because there is only one vent down there uh, for the front of the from the front of the cab and I haven't got um, silver screens um, you do get the screens these uh, yeah they work well for plucking the light out but they don't really keep the heat in and the front of the van is absolutely condensated it's wet through so I think I'm gonna to have to invest in some silver screens uh, this year um, but basically they are really good vans and Ian and Nicola at IH are really nice people to deal with uh, if you've got any problems they're only too happy to help because they want happy customers uh, yeah you can go up to the factory at uh, Nottingley in Yorkshire it's a nice place to look around um, yeah I would recommend them uh, I think that's it for now if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up and um, if you want to see more of uh, motorhome related uh, things please subscribe thanks for watching